Good morning on Mr. GTV land. I um, This is your Sunday sermon and I remember on this Remembrance Day quite a few things. I remember, because uh, I'm very old, being made to go to Sunday school on a Sunday and we used to go and listen to the sermon. So this is my sermon and I remember also that I didn't want the vicar to be talking for too long so I won't be talking for too long but I also remember on this very special Remembrance Sunday all the people who have given their lives and sacrificed uh, their futures for our future and for our freedom and I think it's particularly pertinent at the moment that we respect them and that we do everything that we can to maintain our freedoms so having said that what I want to talk about today very very briefly is the power of prayer and intention and there's two powerful forces in the universe and one is attention which is what you're looking at and what you focus upon and my last business was called mind focus groups it's focusing your mind on what you want and keeping it off what you fear and that's very relevant because we're all fearing sometimes the worst and what's being projected to us through msm which is mainstream media is the worst it's all crisis chaos crisis <laughs> all sorts of shit and we have to shift. We have to shift our focus onto what we want and get our focus off what we fear. So we've got to undo all this programming that anybody, including mainstream media, are projecting towards us and put our attention on the good stuff in life. And there's lots of good stuff in life. I'm going to be posting, and I have been posting, fun stuff. And you guys, this Mr. GTV is our channel. Post your fun stuff as well. Post your knowledge, post your wisdom, post your happy stuff. And if you want to talk about your job, if you want to talk about events in your life that are positive, happy and constructive and powerful, then contact me, inbox me, email me at mikeandmrmikegarner.com and I'll get you on, we'll interview you and we'll hear your wisdom, which is what this channel is all about. So the first power out of the two is attention. Put your attention on what you want and keep it off what you fear. And the second power, your superpower, is intention. And an intention is what do you want to create because you are the creator. I always say that you're God, not blasphemous. You are G-O-D, God, the grand organizing designer. And you can organize and design anything that you want and co-create, co-design with the intelligent universe. And if you don't know how to do that, we really do need a chat. So one of the tips that I want to say is that I also remember as a child, my mother making me when I was, before I went to primary school and at primary school and beyond, we used to kneel down and pray. Now, whatever culture or belief system that you have, you'll probably have a similar process. But this was within the English Christian tradition. I went to Church of England. Later, I went to Church of Wales. It's pretty much the same all over. You know, we have mudras, we have mantras, we have chants, we have affirmations. You know, we have meditations. And most of them focus your mind around a single idea, a chant or a concept which is your intention to create peace or to create love or to create harmony, to create balance, to create power, to send a prayer, to send healing or whatever it is that you're praying for, that's your intention. And what you probably weren't told is that when you put your hands together like this, and there's a famous picture that my father used to love, praying hands it's called, I can't remember the artist, but it's very, very famous. It might have been Leonardo da Vinci, but I'm not sure praying hands like this. You're just told to put your hands together and pray. And later on in my life, investigating all these beliefs, all these rituals, scientifically as an engineer, I realized that what you're actually doing with this is you're putting your hands together and your hands connect a circuit. Right hand, left brain, left hand, right brain, right hand male, left hand female. Even if I'm a man, even if you're a woman, your right hand is male. It's connected to your male energy, your spine line, your governor channel. It's connected to your left logical brain. Your, your left hand, whether you're a man or a woman or what, even a dog, a cat, a horse, the left hand side of the body is connected to the right side of the brain, which is female multitasking, and it's yin and yang. And when you put them together, you get that polarity, unity. You get a singularity, not a duality of two hands. You get a singularity, which is like the big bang, the singularity and it's putting things back together. So you put things back together and every finger represents 
the extremity of a meridian line through your body so that all the energy centers in your body and you've got seven chakras well you've got more because you've got transversal chakras well, most people talk about a seven chakra system what actually happens is it flows out of your four fingers and your thumb on both hands so what you're actually doing is you're connecting your hands together male and female that duality becomes a singularity that polarity balances with the hands together you're actually putting your palm heels on your sternum so you're grounding at your heart when you put your hands together interesting isn't it and then you're pointing to heaven you're pointing to higher consciousness you're pointing to divinity you're pointing to the cosmos you're pointing to the planets whatever you believe but you're pointing out so you're sending your thought field your prayer field your intention out scientifically metaphysically you are radiating it so that it can be absorbed into what's called the morphogenetic field the intelligence of the wi-fi the bios of the universe where things can be created and manifested it's called cosmic ordering but it's prayer and we did this as children but we were never taught the science we just did it on faith well i have faith in a lot of things but what i like to no, as I don't want to hope about something, I want to know about something. I want gnosis, not hope or faith or evidence. I want to talk about something that's concrete and solid that I know works so that when I'm investing my time in it, I know I'm going to get results. I'm the cause and I want to create an effect. I don't want to hope it works. I don't want to pray at her. Please, 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 please make this happen. No, 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 no. I want to know it's going to happen. So start to make some prayers. Start to make some intentions. Put your intention on intend to create something positive. Intend to create something powerful. Intend to create something for yourself and in the world that's better than what's going on at the moment. Create a shift out of this shit. And put your attention on the result. Not what it is now or what it was. Don't think about the past, it's gone. Don't think too much about the future um, other than thinking about what you want to create, a positive future, a powerful future, a happy future, a healthy future, a better future. And you do that, as I say, put your left and your right hand together, your male and your female, create a singularity from the duality. That's where the power is, the yin and the yang. Ground at your heart, say your prayer, say your mantra, say your affirmation, and know that it's working. And that's what I've remembered today on this Remembrance Day. And that's my Sunday sermon. Take care, be powerful, enjoy your mind.